Hey guys, VHS Mania Man here, back for another VHS update. This is a VHS update for February 19th, 2022. Now, I just went to a thrift store, as you guys saw in the last video, and my god, it was by far one of the biggest sections I've ever seen. So, I figured it would only be fitting, since all these tapes were actually 50 cents a piece, I figured it would be fitting to buy a bunch of tapes, and ladies and gentlemen... I present to you my biggest haul in, in like all my, what is it, uh, three years of VHS, or no, two years of VHS collecting. I have never had a VHS haul this massive. This haul consists of 31 tapes. Yes, you heard that correctly. 31 tapes. So this is going to be a long video, I imagine. So just sit back, grab a snack, grab a drink or whatever you want to do. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So the first tape I got here is A Christmas Carol. By the way, all these tapes, like I said, I got for 50 cents at a thrift store. Here's a tape with the sticker label. The print date is August 5th, 1994. Set that off to the side. Next one that my mom actually got this tape, uh, Three Men and a Baby. This is a Tom Selleck movie. My dad is a huge fan of Tom Selleck. And my mom really likes this movie. Here's a tape with the ink label. The print date is November 22nd, 1995. The next one is actually a sealed tape of uh, what people say is one of the best movies ever. It is none other... Oh, no, wait, it isn't a sealed copy, but uh, the plastic is just, like, on the tape. <sighs> Had me fooled. Ah, but whatever. Um, so the tape is none other than Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. Uh, I actually found out about this from a Tommy In It video, and uh, I looked up the movie. It looked pretty interesting, so I figured that when I saw this, I knew I just had to get it. Yeah, like I said, I've heard this is like a very, very good movie. It says Video Visions. I don't know what that is. Uh, here's a tape with the sticker label. It says Dubbed in English. That's helpful. I don't need to learn Chinese from watching this. <laughs> but the week in your code on this is the 17th week of 2001. Next VHS is Martin Luther. Not Martin Luther King Jr., just uh, a different Martin Luther. Another vi it's a vision videotape. I assume this might have something at the end. I'm sorry, I just saw the recording tab. Here's a tape with the ink label. Uh, this tape does not have a print date or week in your code. Alright, the next uh, tape is another VHS of Betty Boop. All-time classic collection, volume 2. Oh boy, this uh, looks like it might be hard to get out. Alright, never mind, I got it. <laughs> oh, it looks like an SLP tape. Look at how much look at how much film strip that is. That's not much. Uh this tape does not have a print date or we can your code. Just like the Martin Luther tape. Alright, next one uh, is another VHS that my mom got for herself. Uh, Center Stage. Never heard of this before. But I guess she really wanted this. <laughs> Here's the tape with the sticker label. The week in your code is the 49th week of 2001. So even though this is a 2000 tape, it is a 2001 reprint, according to this. Next, I got a pretty old VHS, uh, judging by the condition. Uh, this is of 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Looks like a cartoon, but I figured I might as well get it. It looks pretty old, not gonna lie. Uh, other Madison Video Children's Classics. Yeah, it looks like one. 
Or it looks like a cartoon, I'd imagine. And it looks like this is an SLP tape, which is interesting. Here's a tape with the ink label. This tape does not have a print date or week in year code. Looks, like I said, looks very old and not in the best condition. Next one, uh, I got Sly the Orphan Fox. I have no idea what this is, but I figured it looked interesting, so I thought I'd get it. Guess it's about an orphan fox named Sly. Uh, here's the tape with the sticker label. This tape, uh, once again, does not have a print date or week in year code. And this is just, uh, the second to last tape of, uh, I have for, like, three piles. I set all these tapes into, like, three different piles. This last movie here in the first pile is actually a movie that I've been wanting to see for a little while now. It's a movie called, uh, That Thing You Do. As you can see, it's a Tom Hanks, or Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks movie. There are actually like three VHS of there of this, I think, that were there. Uh, here's the tape with the sticker label. What the? Whoa! Hold up! I've never seen this before. Look at this. Uh, if my camera wants to focus uh hang on i'm gonna have to try and focus it i don't know if you guys can see that yeah i don't know if you guys can see that but there's two yeah you can see it a little better now there's two week in year codes on this tape this was printed on the 39th week of 1995 i think it says and then the 46th week of 1997 so this Probably is a recycled tape. I could be wrong, but this might be a recycled tape. Which, that would be really interesting. Yeah, like I said, I have no idea. But that is just pile one. Now we're going to start with pile two. The first tape is actually a movie that my dad really likes. It's called The Fugitive. Here's the tape with the ink label. The print date is February 12th, 1994. Next one is uh, a movie that my mom wanted to get for me, so I figured I'd buy it. Uh, it's called Good Morning Vietnam. Apparently this is like one of Robin Williams' uh, best movies. Probably his breakout movie. I could be wrong. That looks like an old sticker label, but here's the tape with the sticker label. The print date is May 29th, 1988, so this is an original VHS of Good Morning Vietnam. That is really cool. I know uh, one of my friends I talked to has that. Uh, he said he has a original VHS of Good Morning Vietnam as well, so that's interesting. Uh, this next tape my mom wanted to get... Um, Linnea Monette's Garden, I think it is. I have absolutely no clue what this is, but my mom got it, so I figured I have to show it off. Winner Best Animated Film? Yeah, I have no clue what this is. Here's a tape with the sticker label. Oh, it looks like there's a print date here. Uh, it says SP31, but I do not see a print date or week in year code anywhere. But the, there's a printing that does say SP31, which is interesting. Alright, this next VHS is The Land Before Time. I finally got The Land Before Time on my in my VHS collection now. No one's been bugging me to, but I figured I might as well just get it. Here's the VHS with the sticker label, end label, and print. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, week in year code is the 28th week of 1989. 
I had no idea they had weakened ear codes in the 80s. That's interesting. The next tape is actually a movie I've been wanting to see for a little while as well. It's called Raging Bull. Apparently people say this is also one of the greatest movies ever. Whoa. Okay, that's cool. I have never seen that kind of thing before. That is weird. Uh, this tape does not have a print date or week in your code. This actually, uh... Oh, shoot. Okay, this is a 1988 tape, it says. I thought it was... I, I almost freaked out and thought it was a 1980 tape. That would have been really cool. And it was would have been by far the oldest tape in my collection by a landslide. But, nope. <laughs> uh, but... The next tape I got here is Buster and Chauncey's Silent Night. Um, I know the VHS and CD Brony has this. It actually has a rare closing at the end, so I might I'm I'm gonna check all these tapes after this video to see if there are any rare closings. I'm not sure if this one will have a rare closing, but I don't know. Uh, the week in your code is the forty-sixth week of nineteen ninety-eight. Next uh, VHS is actually a John Wayne movie. It's Trail Beyond. Looks like uh, there's no top flap to this. Whoa. That's a weird sticker label. This tape will... Uh, most likely have something at the end then, I assume. How many, uh... How long is this again? Oh, wow. It did, it's a 2001 tape. It does not say how long it is. That is weird. Um, yeah. I'd have to look, uh... I'd have to look up the movie myself and see how long it is. The next tape is actually a two-tape set. This is, a uh, one of two, uh... Two tape sets that I got. This is of The Green Mile. I really like this movie, so I figured I'd get it. There's the guy from Armageddon. <laughs> but people most know him from The Green Mile. Here's tape one. Print date is November 7th, 2003. And here's tape two. Print date is November 7th, 2003. So both of these tapes are from November 7th, 2003. The next uh, VHS is Clear and Present Danger. This is the last of the uh, Jack Ryan movies from Harrison Ford. We ha I already have The Hunt of Red October on DVD and Patriot Games on VHS, so I figured I'd get this. Here's the tape with the sticker label. A weird looking end label. Print date is the first week of 1995. That's cool. I don't think I've ever had a tape before where it's printed in like, where the week and year code is from the first week. So that might be a first. I'm just not sure. The uh, next VHS is Frosty Returns. I finally got this in my collection after a long time. I've actually heard this is not very good, but I do remember watching it once. I don't remember what I thought about it, but I do remember watching this once. Uh, week in your code is the 36th week of 1993. And the last tape from Pile 2 is actually an um, animated movie from uh, Fox. Uh, it's called Titan AE. I have not... I've not seen it, but I've heard heard of it. I might have seen like one clip of it and that's it. Here's the tape with the sticker label. And the week in year code is the 38th week of 2000. Alright. 
Now for pile three. Some of the tapes in here are actually interesting. One of these tapes I got just for nostalgic reasons. You'll you'll see what it is. The first tape I got uh, just because I wanted to, and I figured it looked really interesting. I actually uh, watched it once. I think uh, I remember I watched at least one of these uh, things on here. I'll just show the tape. Uh, um, Disney's American Legends. Uh, but yeah, I remember watching the uh, John Henry short um, once in. Uh, one of my classes for school. I don't remember when it was. I don't remember what class it was. I do remember watching it, though. I might have seen all of these. I just don't know. But I do remember, like, vividly watching the John Henry one. That was hard to get open. Here's the tape with the ink label. And the print date is March 10th, 2003. Most of the tapes in this uh, pile are uh, of clamshell or clamshell tapes. This tape, the or this next VHS, my mom really wanted to get. So the VHS is Babe. Never seen it, but I have heard of it. Uh, here's the tape with the sticker label. And the week in year code is the second week of 1996. Next one is the last of the two of the two tape sets that I got. This is of Braveheart. I actually did get this on DVD, but I don't know where it is, so I figured I'd just get this on VHS. I watched like half of this once on DVD. I don't remember what I thought of it. Uh, okay. This tape does not have a printer or week in your code. Uh, tape one doesn't. Tape two also doesn't. Interesting. So neither of the Braveheart tapes have a print date or week in your code. The next one is a very nostalgic movie. However, this is not the movie I was talking about earlier when I said I got this movie just for nostalgic reasons. But this movie, I remember watching it and really liking it before. It is Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. Uh, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I heard my dad coming down the stairs. But yeah, Homeward Bound, The Incredible Journey. I remember, Like I said, I remember watching this and really liking it. Here's the tape with the ink label. The print date is May 25th, 1993. Alright, the next VHS. Uh, I just got this because it looked uh, interesting and I thought it might have a rare closing. It is of The Ugly Duckling. Like I said, I don't know why I <laughs> decided to get this, but... Figured I would, just because I thought I would have a rare closing. It is from Turner Home Entertainment, so there might be one. I just don't know. We'd have to look through it. Uh, the print date is April 2nd, 1996. Alright, next one. This is the VHS that I got for nostalgic reasons. Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. I remember watching this all the time when I was a little kid, like five or six, I want to say. And now I can finally relive those childhood memories. <laughs> but no, seriously. Here's the tape with the sticker label. There's no print date or week in your code, but there's a barcode with yellow, orangish lines on it. So there might be something at the end. I really, really hope there is. Now we just got five more tapes to go. All these are clamshell tapes, by the way. First one is Little Rascals Varieties. I figured this looked interesting, so I thought I'd get it. And uh, as you can see, ooh, there's a recording tab. Nice. 
So this is a public domain tape. Uh, this is a good time tape, as you can see. So we all might know what's going to be at the end. Uh, but here's the tape with the sticker label. Um, no print date or we can year code. But yeah, it, it is a public domain tape, as you can see. Because there is the recording tab on the bottom. The next one is actually a movie that my friend has been begging me to watch. And now I can finally watch it. It's uh, Ice Age. This is one of the hard, uh, hard clamshell tapes. Here's the tape with the ink label. Uh, the print date is June 4th, 2002. Next VHS is Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. I've heard of this before, but I've never seen it, so I figured I'd get it and watch it sometime. I remember seeing a video of this uh, VHS once. Now, I'm not... You can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not sure if this is real or fake. This might be fake, but uh, someone uploaded like a very, very, very uh, high-pitched white screen of death that was on this tape. And... Uh, I'm not sure if it was real or not. I'd have to go back, look through it, and make sure if it's still up there. Uh, I cannot read what that says. Um, I don't know what the month is, but the day and year is 22nd, 1996. So the month remains a mystery. <laughs> it actually sounds like a movie. Uh, next is A Christmas Story. I watched this once and really liked it, so I got it on VHS when I saw it. Here's the tape with the ink label. Print date is September 20th, 2000. <sighs> Alright, guys. Now, the last VHS here in this update, this very, very long update, is actually quite a surprise. Um... I have been looking for this tape for a long time, like, I want to say, like, several, several months, and I finally struck gold at the place today. This is also a sealed copy, which makes it all the more interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare yourself, because the final tape in this VHS collection is none other than the colorized version of It's a Wonderful Life. And it's the proof right there that it's colorized is that it says colorized right here. I don't know what this is down here, but yeah, like I said, this is a sealed copy. So no one has opened this before. At least I don't think. Ooh, holiday gift inside. I gotta see this. First, let me take the plastic off, which that was actually pretty easy. <laughs> Uh, so yeah. I finally have the colorized VHS now, which is really cool. Or, the color version of the movie, I should say. Oh, that's cool. It's a little ornament. I'll have to show it to my mom sometime. And this is a, as you can see here, a tape from the Video Treasures. Print date is November 6, 1993. So yeah, that is it for by far my biggest VHS update ever. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.